Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemies, uh, whatever the enemy has taken from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. <clears throat> um. So there, there is someone that is being illegally imprisoned. Um, there's some type of truth that has come out that a man did not do something. He's innocent and he's still being held in some type of imprison, imprisonment. Um, so I had this flash of someone. Well, first of all, when I was in between the sleep and the wake sleep state, excuse me, I don't know what I said, sleep, uh, state, um, I heard a man's voice and this is someone in law, in the law, in law. In the criminal justice system uh he was asking someone so you want me to keep him in here even though he's innocent um and someone told him yes so there's someone being held against their will they haven't done anything to be in there but there's someone that wants him in there because there's some type of agenda that someone is trying to carry out there may even be a plot to do something to this man god forbid even happens um i speak protection over whoever you are um, but there is a man being held against his will. He didn't do anything to be in there. There's some type of malicious plot, um, taking place and they're trying to make this person disappear so that he does not partner up with someone or he does not balance some type of situation out. Um, when I saw where he was, it's kind of like someone is in, I don't know if it's like a prison, but where he is in this prison is that you wouldn't even know that there's somebody there. I saw like an underground uh, enclosure. And outside of that underground enclosure, it's kind of like you imagine walking on a step. Um, and there's some type of ventilator, ventilation um, above the step or something like that. Um, and you can, I could see like, like movement. It's like, it's like there was breathing going on in there and I could hear and see like some type of lifting up. And I think that was just symbolic of those, a spirit telling me that there's somebody down there, some type of breathing was going on, like a lot of movement and things like that. But outside of whatever this is, this little step, um, you can see the letter A on there. Um, it's what I saw. So maybe the letter A may be significant. Maybe somebody's name starts with maybe Andrew, uh, Antonio, Anthony, uh, Angelo, something. Uh, but the name starts with an A or the letter A is significant. But someone is being illegally imprisoned for something they did not do. And whoever I heard saying you want me to leave him in here, even though he's innocent, um was a man's voice in the justice system. They may be plotting on this man or something. Uh, and if you all do something to him, it's going to not end up in your favor. Something is coming out. Uh, the truth will come out. And everybody that's involved um, is going to be having some really hard difficulty. Whoever they locked up could be a Sagittarius, could be someone in the upright, <clears throat> Leo Aries, I don't know. But it's someone that is of high honor. It could be a man that was doing some type of healing and decided to balance life out for himself or just decided to do the right thing. Or maybe he was taking a different path in life and it maybe pissed some people off around him. They want him to be toxic as can be. They don't want him healing because there's some type of finances that's involved as well. Um, but hopefully it'll be balanced out because that, that's horrible. I literally heard that man saying, you want me to keep him, so you want me to keep him in here even though he's innocent? And the person said, yeah. And just left it at that. They, they pay whoever this man is that's asking the questions. They pay 
him to lock that man up and to put him even farther into the prison. Kind of like make him disappear. It's kind of like being somewhere without being without being there. It's like you're there, but nobody knows you're there. It's basically them trying to hide him, trying to isolate him, make him feel like just, you know, I've never been in that situation, but they say like solitary confinement is a different kind of torture. Um, it's something that's very hard to 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 go through and when you come out of it it's also very hard it's like they're trying to break his spirit or something but there's some type of wicked person that paid to have this man put in some type of solitary confinement where it's like the rest of the world is kind of moving on and he's down there by himself uh no one knows he's there or somebody knows he's there the people that put him in there know he's there but it's like he's supposed to just be in there rotting, rotting away. Like the world just forgets about him. And it's just really sad. Uh, and this was a collaboration to keep him in there. It's a collaboration. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the terror reading. Again, sir, whoever you are that's being held without, uh, against your will, I speak protection over you. I pray that, pray that no uh, wicked plans of the enemies um, uh, prosper over you. Um, you are protected. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the terror reading. That's just depressing. Uh, we have a King of Cups reverse that may be uh, maybe feeling. I don't know. I don't know if it's embarrassment or is if he's in some type of remorse. With the Five of Cups, I'm thinking he's in some type of remorse uh, and maybe pissed off because you are still in some type of positive energy. You're still investing in yourself. Uh, someone may be pissed off that they receive some type of good news, good communication about you, that you're still moving forward. You're not choosing this person. It's that like someone is living in remorse because they can't have another chance with you. Someone has been doing a lot of manipulations behind the seems to make something go in his favor to make people think a certain way so whatever communication he got is that you're still investing in yourself you're still working hard on moving forward with your life so there's something someone has been working on to take from you destroy and things of that nature but he received some type of communication like his that all of his actions he's been taking out of anger has not deterred you you're still out here very lively very hopeful investing in yourself um and the, investing in the things that matter to you so someone is very disappointed they may also be disappointed that they haven't been able to break you they're not able to come in and give you some type of frivolous um offer because you are privy to what this person has been doing behind the scenes maybe someone thought you didn't know that it was them that was doing something but you are privy to who this person is um, because someone has a very distinctive way when it comes to their maliciousness. Uh, maybe they didn't know that you knew that. Um, so they're not able to come in and be like, oh, I'm so sorry for this. Or can we heal and move on or whatever this is. I see a, the cups car out here. So this could be someone you're very familiar with. Okay. He is also angry and upset that he's receiving communications that someone still wants to invest in you or work in you or someone is still even thinking about coming towards you. You may not know who these people are. I see a King of Cups reverse out here and a King of Wands in the upright. So he may be pissed off that this King of Wands is thinking about coming towards you to work with you, balance something out. Yeah, he's planning. Yeah, this King of King of Wands, whoever this is, is planning on coming towards you to balance a situation out. Uh, this is someone very logical. Uh, this is someone that plans. This is not someone that does things on like the just because he feels like it or something of that nature. But he is planning on coming towards you to make you some type of offer. Maybe you're afraid that you're not going to accept this offer. This King of Cups is. Uh, what I'm getting is that this King of Cups it may be just embarrassed, disappointed uh, in the actions he took against you because now he knows that you and him cannot have a family together ever again. There's some type of destruction someone did that is undoable, if that's even a word. A word. It is undoable. He's not able to, you know, come in and say, I'm so sorry for what I did to you because something is very devastating. I don't know if someone just let their anger get the best of them. Like someone just went all out. Everything 
that they did to you. Your ancestors are stepping in to balance it out for you. And they're even mad at that. They're pissed off. They're angry, jealous that your ancestors are even helping you. Uh, but it's like they've been told you to let something go. So it's like someone doing something repeatedly for a long time and they're being told to stop doing it. But they keep doing it out of anger. Uh, so the universe steps in to balance the situation out and then he gets angry about that. He said, well, why are they doing that? Why is things working out for them? I'm trying to destroy them. And he said, well, you're trying to destroy them, but we told you not to do that. Um, it's what's going on. So someone may be very even, maybe even very jealous of your relationship with your ancestors or for the love that the universe has for you because they're seeing that you're someone very protected. There could be like a couple in a situation making some type of judgment to balance something out. Um, to heal something, yeah, fix something, come together maybe with you. Uh, they may be sending some type of communication about you or that <clears throat> you are someone to work with. Um, it's beneficial to work with you. I don't know what this is, but there's a, cu cu there's a couple, either this man has been working with, this King of Cups Reverse has been working with, that has made some type of judgment that is going in your favor. <coughs> Excuse me, let me drink some water. <coughs> <clears throat> okay okay hopefully that helps but there's some type of judgment that is going in your favor you may have a couple that wants to work with you you could be a queen of pentacles you don't have to be uh you could be a queen of cups king of pentacles king of cups in the upright you don't have to be but there's some type of judgment that has been made that's going in your favor maybe a couple that wants to come together with you work with you or something has received some type of positive uh, message about you. I think what it is, is that a lot of people are going into poverty for something they did to you. It's that karma is playing out. There could be someone that ends up passing away very soon. And I think maybe someone may have made some type of uh, peace with their ending or they've accepted the end. Like how things are going to end for them. It's like someone accepting that they're going to pass away and they know exactly why they're passing away. Someone could be sick I saw like a man in a dream with some type of medication and he was telling me like, this is the last one. Um, so someone could be sick and they're passing away and he's made some type of, um, he has made amends. Like he has accepted that. Like he know this is karma playing out that he did something to you. Um, and the universe is basically serving him his karma because he was doing something while being told not to do it like someone was very cool and malicious with the way they went about doing something uh when it came to blocking you uh hindering you and things like that destroying your investment like people want you out in the cold they want you out in poverty they want you like just broke busted and disgusted for no reason trying to stop your ace of pentacles is that something you're working on and nurturing they are still out here trying to destroy it uh trying to block destiny is that every time some something is supposed to thrive for you they get in there to destroy it from being able to move forward and it is something that's going to come back to backfire very horribly uh extremely I don't know how to put that. It's going to be very horrible how something plays out for a group of people. There's someone in here that stands to go to prison. Someone stands to, someone stands to spend a lot of time or a long time in jail, in prison. Not just prison. I'm not just jail. Laura, someone's trying to mix up my words. Let me slow down because someone's trying to mess up my words. Someone stands to spend a lot of time in prison. And it's some years for something they've been doing because someone has broken some type of law on a federal level. Um, and I don't know if they didn't know or someone just does not care because they're so gung-ho on destroying you, making sure that your pathway is hindered. It could be a King of Pentacles reverse that's been doing something repeatedly. Um, and it's going to get to a point where it's like someone is going to end up owing you money. Uh, you're going to end up suing someone. They're going to lose everything. Someone may end up going to jail. Like, there's a whole lot someone has been doing behind the scenes. And maybe he thought nobody know, knew he was paid a hefty amount to do whatever it is he's been doing to you. So maybe, like, upwards of... 300,000, 400,000, 500,000. He's been doing something for a long time. He has made a promise to someone that he is absolutely 
going to bind you. You're not meant to be binded. That's why the universe is stepping in to protect you. And they're, they are pissed off about that. You are someone very hardworking and you are being guided to go within and focus on your work. Keep moving forward. Um, whatever it is that's uh, being tempered with, what, whether it's your position at work, your products, your business, whatever it is, it'll be balanced out for you. You're a queen of pentacles. There could be another queen of pentacles in the scenario working really hard. This is a narcissist. This is someone trying to sabotage your work, put an end to it, put an end to some type of contract or commitment that you're supposed to have, cause a lot of stagnations to your, uh, your independence and cause you a lot of heartbreaks and things of that nature. You may have someone trying to come in to give you some type of offer in order to cause you some type of ending as well. It's just a lot of devious and malicious actions taking place behind the scenes a lot of plotting a lot of planning planning against you and things of that nature okay yeah and you're whatever someone is planning against you is not going to work they're going to be disappointed there's a king of cups reverse planning to come towards someone and give them some type of immature offer it's going to be refused it's going to be refused with this four of cups out here it is something that's going to be refused uh i don't know if there's a if this king of wands also is someone that's toxic because i see the devil out here this could be someone who, if they give you an offer, is going to be rejected as well because this is someone that was going up against you. So it's like everybody that wants to work with you now are people that were trying to destroy you in the past. And because some type of truth has been illuminated, this is why they want to come towards you to give you some type of offer. I don't get the whole... I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Mm -mm. I don't get it. Is that how can you go from destroying someone, trying to steal someone's work, so, trying to sabotage someone work, someone's work to wanting to give them an offer? Like, I really think we should work together. I think it will be beneficial for you and I to come together. Like, how does that work? How does that conversation, even I said conversation split my deck is, is on the page of wands. How does that conversation even start? Like, hey, I would like to meet with you. There are some things I want to discuss with you after you've done everything with a group of people to destroy this person's life, their work, uh, their family, it, really their offers, their opportunities. Like, people are fighting behind the scenes because someone still wants to meet with you. But it's like this person was working with them behind the scenes before. So I don't know where the change took place. Maybe someone went through some type of healing. I don't know what it is, but I'm just confused as you all are. Why it is that you will go out on this length to, length to destroy someone and then all of a sudden you want to come in to make a proposal to them uh, and people are pissed off because you're still sufficient. You're still independent. Um, I don't, listen, these people are worrying me thing. Whoever this King of Cups is, this is someone planning to come towards you. Like they're plotting... Anything this man is doing in your life or energy is something that's malicious. Someone is plotting on how they can destroy your independence, your comfort. They don't want you being comfortable in life. This could be someone that you were in a relationship with before. Someone is plotting or planning against your independence, your comfort. They don't want you comfortable. They don't want you happy. They don't want you content. Uh, they don't want you taken care of. They want you out here broke, busted, and disgusted. Uh, I don't know what this kind of energy gets out of it besides just, like, I don't know if someone gets a thrill out of destroying a feminist life because she doesn't want to be with him. You don't want to, uh, I don't know if it's a reconnect with this person and they're pissed off about that. Someone does not like the fact that you do not want to be, be in a relationship with them, okay? So someone could have been out here telling people that you missed them, you were sprung over them, you were waiting on them, only to find out you ain't worried about this person. You say, well, I don't care, I don't give two Fs who you are, what you're doing, if you got married, you didn't get married, I don't care. Like, he plans on coming towards you to give you some type of offer for you two to be in a relationship again. And you're just looking at, uh, no. Like, someone is under some type of delusion that you are obsessed with them. You want to be with them. They don't tell the whole community that you're waiting on them. Meanwhile, you probably don't even remember who this person is. You may not even want to have anything to do with this person. This is someone from your past, emotionally unavailable, 
and they're out here telling a whole story about how you are waiting on them and you're bothered by the fact that they may have given an offer to somebody else and the whole time you don't even know what's going on in this person's life someone who had put something on like a platform and you're not on that platform to see it there's some type of delusional or some type of illusion someone is under and they're telling people that you are one way when you're not i'm telling you you're someone that's very mature and you already know, like, if this kind of person comes towards you, they're not even worth your time. Because you're not on the same frequency. And I don't say that to be spiteful. But this is like someone operating out of their lower energy. You're in your higher energy. So your two don't match. So this is someone, a king of cups reverse coming to like a hermit. Right? Talking about, I know you miss me. And I was wondering if we can fix the family. I'm like, it's like, no. No. So how many times do we got to say no? It's no. Someone is not worried about you. It's like, I'm not worried about you. What the heck are you doing? It's like, these people have been working together to sabotage something repeatedly. And this King of Cups reverse is the head honcho. And the King of Pentacles reverse have been the ones doing something for a long time. And they were trying to force you to go back to the past. So that when someone new comes in to give you an offer, they won't give you an offer because you're attached to the patch to the past, excuse me, or you're attached with someone you have no business being with. And it's that none of that is taking place. There's some type of setup that didn't go accordingly. It's that you were supposed to show up somewhere and someone was supposed to do you something, or you were supposed to it's been a few plans. You were supposed to go somewhere and run into someone that you don't have any business being with. So then once you're with that person, your actual partner you're supposed to be with, they will have taken pictures of you with the wrong person, with a karmic, and show it to your actual person. And then your person will have said, oh, dang, I thought they were in the upright of man. I'm real heartbroken. They were just trying to destroy a man behind the scenes. It said, oh, wait, I thought, I thought you said she was in the upright. It looks like she's not in the upright. Look here. This is what she's been doing. While you've been in here or something like that. Or while you've been working to better yourself. For her, man, I told you, man, all these girls are the same. That's what someone was planning to do. Have you set up, make it look like you're part of some type of plan. And then it can go and break a man's heart that thinks highly of you. Because this is what these kind of insecure people do. It's really sad. It's really sad. But I think you listened to your intuition when something was supposed to take place and you balanced the situation out. Maybe you didn't show up where you were supposed to show up. Um, maybe you received some type of communications from your ancestors and you're like, mm, I'm not going there. I'm not doing it. So then they started tempering with your finances even more uh, so that you could end up, as I said, broke, busted, and disgusted. And whoever wants to partner up with you will hold their nose up to you and will, will hold his nose up to you and be like, mm, nah, I don't want to be with this person. They don't got no class about themselves or whatever. There's a woman uh, plotting against you. She's still co collaborating behind the scenes. Listen, I don't know how why this message is coming out this way. Is that someone's trying to confuse me? So I don't see the message like I'm supposed to. But overall, you got a King of Cups reverse that's uh, heartbroken having to cut his losses uh, is disappointed in himself because he's been out here trying to destroy you, but he's still receiving good news. He's mad about the news he's receiving about you, that you're still investing or someone still wants to invest in you. This could have been two friends. This is a king of wands he's upset at for wanting to come together with you. You got a, a, a woman of high honor. This woman keeps coming out. They're still collaborating with people behind the scenes to do you something, to destroy you destroy your foundation because she don't want people to believe that you can thrive without being attached to their organization or something of that nature. So they've been collaborating and are still collaborating on how to block you from having wish fulfillment, but you're listening to your intuition and balancing the situation out, staying positive and staying committed to your path. Okay. Um, and there's a King of Pentacles. Maybe this is the person they have locked up or something that wants to work with you or, there's someone that has foresight of a situation and he's going to balance it out when the time is right. Okay. Yeah. There's a queen of wands and I forgot to mention this. Actually, I think I'm going to cover her in the next video because this woman has been doing too much, too much, too much, too much. There could be like a, I think this is like, who 
whoever is locked up could be like someone in law enforcement or just someone that is choosing to do the right thing in life. But whoever I picked up on is a masculine. It was like a set up. I remember doing a reading where I was telling a man in a community that a group of people were plotting against him. They were trying to set him up and for him to be careful. And I don't know if they went in and snatched him up and put him in some type of solitary confinement. But there's a man that's locked up. There's a man that's locked up for, for no reason. So if you all are looking for a, a, a man in a community, you haven't seen him in a while. You don't know what happened to him or something like that. They locked him up for no reason. No reason at all. Okay, no reason at all. And wherever he's at, it's a corrupt prison system. That everybody in that prison is in on it. Everybody knows. Everybody knows what's going on. It's a setup. It's like, I don't know if like, it's like a man was being warned about something and he didn't listen. It's like telling someone, hey, you're around a lot of wolves. You need to separate yourself from the wolves. Something like that. And he waited so late. He took too long to separate himself from the wolves. And I think this is what happened. But even, honestly, what I'm hearing is even if he would have separated himself in time, they would have done something still to try to set him up. But it would have been harder for them to lock him up. But he was comfortably around these people. I, I remember I had a dream where it's like something, it's like someone, like a man put something in another person's bag to set them up. So it could look that like they were the ones that took it. Let's say like Drew's. Someone put drugs in your bag to make it look like you're out here, you know, dealing. But you're not. It's something like that. Okay? It's something like that. But something was plotted. And whoever blocked them up was paid to do it. They were paid to do it. And I don't know. I think this could be someone that said, I'm not helping you or something when the truth comes out. It's coming out. Um, but you got people just upset because things are going in your favor. Things are being balanced out for you. Maybe you got a group of people that may be collaborating to balance something out or to fix something. Maybe you don't know who these people are because the truth is out. Someone is worried about a commun a, 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 an institution. I was going to say community. Same thing. A community or an institution working together to fix something because this is something that's being exposed as unholy. It's that people are doing malicious things and your ancestors are stepping in to balance the situation. Now it's that we make judgment in this situation. This is over. That you all need to calm down or something like that. It's a lot of manipulation that's been going on about a Queen of Cups. Think of like a whole community just... Yeah. <laughs> just taking reckless and impulsive actions to, to just... Do a lot of manipulation so you come out in an energy that's not yours. Telling people that you are, I don't know what this is. It's that kind of defamation. And people are upset because you're still coming together with your partner. There could be a man that's finding out that he may have chosen the wrong person. Like what, whoever he chose to go with that he's with now is someone very malicious impulsive like he has chosen some, some type of difficult path very difficult and he thought he was getting with someone who was a who was wholesome this is not someone wholesome he picked someone very difficult dishonest manipulative to get with i don't know if he went with someone because of beauty because they presented themselves in some type of way and this is someone that's been plotting against another person the whole time to destroy them and make them look like something they're not. Just so he could choose them. And he ended up choosing that person. Maybe someday people will learn to stop making love choices off of looks. And they'll go with the heart or the, the, the substance within that person. Um, but people are upset that the Queen of Pentacles is still moving forward. It's still focused on their path. Uh, it's still determined to... Yeah, it's still moving forward. It got people pissed off 
okay, that this woman is still having a new, a brand new passionate beginning in life, maybe even moving in silence, and they're trying to plot on this person to cause a tower for them, and this person is still moving on to what? Wish fulfillment. Could be ending up with like a king of pentacles or whoever they're going to end up with, they're going to be matching energies, okay? They may end up coming together. This is her emperor taking some type of new path or direction in life, best of friends, wherever this is. And it has people trapped in their mind, confused, pissed off, mad. Okay? Just mad. Be cautious. They, I'm telling you, be cautious. There is a... I don't know who this energy is. It could be this King of Cups reverse. And a King of Pentacles reverse. Trying to come towards you to make you some type of offer just to trap you and stop you. To stop your Ace of Pentacles. Do not be in a hurry to accept anything from anyone. There's some type of malicious plot against you. It said, we're going to stop this person, but it's like, that's not what the universe has destined to happen. Someone could be choosing to communicate with you. Someone could be uh, deciding to do something that is in regards to you. Um, but overall, you are still going to be thriving. You are still going to be content in life. Uh, you're still going to be taken care of if people are out here hoping and wishing for you to be out in the cold, in poverty, uh, broke, busted, disgusted. It's not happening. The universe is taking care of it behind the scenes. They've made some type of judgment or calling. Like they've taken control of a situation. Your contract is intact is what I'm hearing. And they are supporting you. Okay, it's a king of wands that more than likely is supporting you as well. Or he's part of... I don't know about this King of Wands. There's something about him. I don't know if he was hired to be a twin flame. Someone was hired to be a twin flame. He's part of this family trying to take some type of action to come towards you. So be very cautious. When he comes towards you, you're probably going to refuse this person. But he's part of a toxic family dynamic that is extremely greedy. He's being sent towards you. Like someone is planning on how to come towards you. And it's going to be a disappointment. Now if you're a king of wands. And you know you don't have any ulterior motives for someone. Obviously I'm not talking about you. But whoever this uh, malicious person is. They don't have any good intent for you. Someone wants to attach themselves to you. They want to attach themselves to you. I don't know if someone is headed for poverty. Or someone did something. Like they partner up with the wrong person and they ended up in some type of five of pentacles and they are trying to make their way back to a ten of pentacles so this is why they're coming in to give you an offer <sighs> lord have mercy yeah you're going to be victorious whoever you are the the divine feminine divine masculine you you're going to be victorious but just know you have a whole lot of people just plotting against you it's a woman of high honor, a privileged lady, king of cups reverse, king of wands, king of pentacles reverse, a whole community just plotting against you, all collaborating against you. Uh, 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 just, I, I can't. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. i see you in the next week. Goodbye for now.